Crypto fam, it's your boy Jojo with another crypto update. We finally got a Bitcoin ETF approved and most of the biggest asset firms immediately started trading the next day. However, Vanguard said they wouldn't be offering Bitcoin ETFs to their investors. Let's jump right into it. Vanguard is one of the world's largest investment firms with $7.7 trillion in assets under management, guys. The finance giant shocked the market by refusing to offer the recently approved Bitcoin ETF to its brokerage investors and customers. This is a huge mistake they are making. Their competitors like BlackRock and Fidelity are forward thinkers when it comes to the crypto space. A spokesperson at Vanguard stated that Bitcoin and crypto products don't align with its investment image. Here's a direct quote from Vanguard spokesperson. We also have no plan to offer Vanguard Bitcoin ETFs or other crypto related products. Our perspective is long standing that cryptocurrencies high volatility runs counter to our goal of helping investors generate positive real returns over the long term. Okay guys, this is why you never listen to what they say, you watch what they do. Ben Bold retrieved public data on CNN business from the leading Bitcoin mining companies in the United States, which feature the Vanguard Group as a major shareholder in most of them. Vanguard thinks they're slick, acting like crypto isn't in their future. Yeah, right. Why are they investing in miners? If you've been following this channel for a while, you know I've been talking about Marathon Digital. I actually disclosed that I own stocks in the company on this channel. Get this, Vanguard is Marathon Digital's largest stakeholder at 8.11% of all their shares, totaling up to around $216 million, guys. The firm recently bought 1 million shares of the larger Bitcoin mining company, but Bitcoin isn't in their vision? That's just straight up cap. Vanguard doesn't stop there, guys. It's the second biggest holder and the second biggest mining company in the world in Riot, with 9.12% of all shares worth $236 million. Vanguard is right there with BlackRock on making sure they are connected to these mining companies. Remember, guys, you can never trust what these companies say. You have to watch what they do. I'm not a fan of these asset firms being able to invest in crypto mining companies. I feel like it's a conflict of interest because these asset firms are offering Bitcoins to their investors through their ETFs. Yeah, I know Coinbase is their custodian, but still, something just doesn't feel right with them owning that many shares in these companies. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and sub to the channel. We're on a crypto train to 500 subscribers. I appreciate all the support. Until next time.